Of all the car guys I pestered in my childhood, I remember only one. While most of the neighborhood gentry contentedly passed their time messing around under the hoods of tired pony cars while sipping cheap beer and cranking proto-rock from the finest sensationally titled riff Venner's FM radio had to offer, Gary, maybe his real name, maybe not, had it bad for the Chevrolet Suburban. Or maybe that's just the only vehicle he had to work with. Either way, after a summer of watching various performance components find their way onto the bourbon, Gary took me for a ride that nullified everything I thought I knew about the relationship between speed and mass. Fast forward some 30 years, and I'm hustling a Mercedes AMG GLS 63 through the craggy terrain outside Moab, Utah, experiencing Technicolor flashbacks of the sort usually reserved for Woodstock survivors. Sure, the GLS 63 is an eminently more refined beast, its heated and ventilated leather front pockets, with massage function, natch, and chubby, leather-covered wheel a far cry from the blanket-covered bench and oversize hula hoop tiller of Gary's Suburban. But for delivering forward thrust far out of scale with an enormous SUV, the vibe is definitely there. Adding an S for 2017. Refreshed and renamed for the 2017 model year, the GLS 63 comes by its quickness not by an infusion of aftermarket add-ons, but by careful design and engineering from the start. As a Mercedes-AMG model, its 5.5-liter twin-turbo V8 is hand-assembled by the skilled crew of AMG technicians in a facility in a fall Turbach, Germany. While the 5.5-liter isn't new for 2017, AMG did manage to harvest an additional 27 ponies from the engine, which now produces 577 volts. <laughs>